College baseball season is upon us. The team's back for some spring training in January. It's the beginning of the end in Brownsville, where a dark cloud has cast a shadow on what usually is an exciting time at Scorpion Field. Yeah. The beginning of baseball season. An American sports tradition bringing to mind the phrase, hope springs eternal. But not this season, not at UT Brownsville. I was completely blindsided as, as one can get. I was upset. I was really upset. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I mean, it was just, <laughs> it was just really shocking. Just last month, head coach Brian Ogney was told this would be the last baseball season at UT Brownsville. The program is getting cut. If our institution thought there was a chance for us to, to make some things happen, perhaps they would have talked to me in November. I knew we were going to face some budget situations, but definitely was not expecting this. The cut certainly not because of on-field results. The Scorpions have become one of the best programs in NAIA, qualifying for the NAIA World Series in two of the past three seasons. Now in 2012, a different challenge, to focus on baseball and not an uncertain future. During the break, I had a lot of think about uh, if I was going to come back or not. It brings a big toll mentally towards us, like, like, like as like a team, because everybody has to look for somewhere to play. I'm there to help every single one of them find a new home, a new program, a new university, but uh, it won't take away from, from what we're building and the goals and expectations that we have for this season. This is it. I mean, this is the last year, and we're going to leave everything out there. The one great thing about this game is when you step, when you step across those lines, it's the most purest thing there is in life. We're still going to go out and stay true to the goals and expectations that we created for ourselves.